Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope your guys' this weekend was pretty good. All right, let's just get right into the news. So, I guess uh, the division on PC was held back by consoles, and yeah. All right, so pretty much what uh, the developer of the game said. They interviewed him, and he said, "One good thing about the division is we've always considered the PC as a separate platform. We do have to keep it in check with the consoles. It would be unfair to push it so far away from them." But it's been good having a dedicated PC build for this game. I'm really happy that we're pushing the PC build as much as we are. There's a lot of customized options on the console. Or a lot of uh, customized options um, than the console. So you get more options to customize and stuff. So pretty much like what they're saying is they basically had to hold back the PC for the division. The PC version. Because if they pushed the PC version all the way like with a way better like. Uh, running specs and what you need to run it on the PC, they'd have to basically make a whole new version for the consoles, and it just isn't cost efficient for the developer to do that. So they're going to run the PC, they're going to make the PC version mediocre to pretty good at best, but they said they consider it a, spe- a separate uh, console or whatever, but that doesn't really mean much, to be honest with you guys. It just means they consider it a separate console. So they'll make the specs better than the console, but they're not going to be overwhelmingly better, like with graphics and everything. But hey, there might be some mods in the future, like like what Grand Theft Auto has with the graphics and everything. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to see. I mean, obviously, yeah, it'd cost them more money and more time if they were to make a separate version, like two separate versions. So that's why developers just make one version and then they release it on console and just kind of scale it back a little bit. All right, so moving on. I guess Red Dead Redemption is, or was, I guess, playable on the Xbox One. Uh, it's kind of weird how it works. There is this thing that describes how to do it. It's kind of a couple things, but uh, a couple things you need to do to get it running. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cool feature. It uh, The update said it's not working anymore. And yeah, so Phil Spencer made the comment... On it, uh, he basically said, you know, he didn't really comment on it. Okay, I'm, I'm just like all over the place. I am not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It, it was working and then it just stopped working after like an update or something. So basically, if you type in Red Dead Redemption, it's going to come up as bundle only. But you can grab the 360 version for 30 bucks, apparently. And it says if you own the game on disc, give it time. The digital version is working on, uh, working. The disc should roll out soon. Uh, and then Microsoft said, base, they didn't say anything, but they pretty much read everybody's day. Uh, they said the reporting, purchasing, and downloading the game for play now brings up a puzzle of, uh, stuff. And it can no longer start right at redemption as it's been flagged as needing an update, but there is an error downloading it. So basically it needs an update and, uh, yeah, doesn't work when you try to update it, so they basically stopped that, ruined everybody's party on that. I don't know why this article said Xbox Major Nelson comments on Reddit. It says that right here, and it doesn't make any sense because they don't tell you his comment. Whatever. I'm sure it was just kind of like, yeah, we're going to bring the game soon. Obviously, the game is playable on the Xbox One, so it's going to be just a matter of time before it comes out. I mean, I might pick it up. I don't know. I have it for my PS3, so maybe not. I don't know. Do you guys think it would be worth it for me to pick up Red Redemption for the 360? Or do you think it would be just, might as well just keep playing it on my PS3? Because, I mean, I don't play it much to begin with, but, I mean, if you can play it on Xbox One, might as well, right? So, yeah, last piece of news is, what will basically, like, what will the PS5 be like? And they're talking to, uh, Cryer, Cryeron? I don't know. Director Paul Ross? And he said... They said, so, what does the PS5 game look like? With the PS4, we've seen a bit of fidelity, but put into the, put into worlds. The PS5 is going to be about more dynamic worlds, far more interactive worlds, and much more believable in the way they behave. So, the next gen, you know, there might not be just prettier games, but they're gonna be taking huge strides, um, with like, what the world's gonna be like, how the world's gonna react. Graphically, the games are gonna look nicer. And physics are obviously going to get better because there's going to have more space. I wonder if, like, Blu-rays will get bigger. Like, 100 gigs. 100 gig, like, game discs. I don't know. 
So he basically said they're just going to focus more on how, like, worlds behave and, like, everything. So not much news of PS5 or Xbox 2 or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously they're going to come out in the future. And pretty much what I'm looking for is just better, I guess, better graphics and bigger worlds, really. I mean, the worlds right now are pretty big, but if we could get way bigger worlds, that would be awesome. More interactive worlds. Like, even if we got the biggest world ever made, but if there's no interiors, that would suck. So, like, maybe make, if the world's about, like, bigger than GTA 5 or, I guess, just cause 3, but if you could go in, like, 90% of the buildings with, like, detail, that would be, that would be awesome. It feels so realistic, like, buy clothes in one or eat in one, whatever. It'd be so cool, I think. I don't know. I don't know. That's just off the top of my head what I'd like to see in these games. So, yeah. What would you guys like to see in the PS5 and, uh, I guess, Xbox 2? Uh, let me know down in the comments and what you guys thought of this video. So, all right. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like this video, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.